Writing analytically. How do you prepare for an expository essay? To prepare for an expository or analytical essay, you need three key things. A thesis, claims, and evidence. The analytical essay pyramid is built from the bottom up. Begin by gathering evidence and then using that evidence to assert claims. The claims that you assert help you to form and to establish your thesis. Remember, you must always begin at the bottom. Start at the bottom of the analytical essay pyramid by gathering evidence. If you don't begin first by gathering evidence, the thesis you write, although it might look strong, is actually not resting on solid grounds. It might be fractured if your claims and your evidence are not aligned to your thesis. How do I develop a claim from evidence? To develop a claim from evidence, read and reread the text you are analyzing. Choose a few passages or direct quotes that you find interesting and copy them with a citation stamp. This is your evidence. To show you how to go about this process, I'm going to look at a video that I've created. This video shows you a passage from Shakespeare's The Tempest. This copy of the text is from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology's Open Source Shakespeare Project. We're looking at Act 1, Scene 2, where Prospero first introduces Caliban to the audience. I'm using Digo to help me highlight key passages in the text that I want to use as evidence. I'm slowly reading and rereading the passage. It's important to note that although I only highlighted two sections initially, I went back and reread the passage to find exactly the evidence that I needed. And that involved going back and highlighting new pieces of text. Once I had found the pieces of text that were most intriguing, I go back up to the status bar on Digo and I choose to include some sticky notes. These sticky notes will help me to identify where in the text I found this evidence by marking it with a citation stamp. The citation stamp is from the Modern Language Association and I'm using MLA in-text citation. When citing from Shakespeare, it is important to remember that you need to cite the correct act and scene, as well as the correct line numbers, which sometimes, in the case of the MIT Shakespeare, you have to count out for yourself. Act 1, scene 2, lines 338 through 340. Next, I need to mark up the passages and circle key words. I need to look closely at the evidence I've gathered. And in order to look closely at the evidence I've gathered, I have to begin analyzing and thinking about identifying strands and motifs. To return to the same passage, I'm rereading the evidence I've gathered and beginning to generate strands and motifs. When I look at the first section, This Island's Mine, by Sycorax, my mother, which thou takest from me, I'm thinking of colonialism, imperialism, when I read Thou strokest me and madest much of me, I'm thinking about infantilization. And I make these notes on my sticky note, which is already organized with my citation stamp. When I read and showed thee all the qualities of the isle, I'm thinking about how Caliban is desperate for attention, and initially he seeks the devotion of Prospero. So his desire for approval is something that I note on my sticky note. For I am all the subjects that you have, 
which first was mine own king, and here you sty me. I'm thinking of the master-slave dialectic. I'm thinking about the relationship between the ruler and the governed. And I'm also thinking about the fact that Prospero is an anagram for oppressor and that Caliban is an anagram for cannibal. And I take the time to note that on my sticky note. Now I've established some strands and motifs based on evidence. The next thing that I must do is assert the purpose of the strands and motifs that I've identified. In order to assert their purpose, I have to start thinking about how it all ties together. When I look at this first section, and I see how it connects with the remaining two sections. One of the things I'm thinking about as a possible claim is that Caliban asserts his anger or his vengeance because he is feeling oppressed by Prospero's decision to imperialize the islands. I'll take the time to write this initial claim, but I'll also look it over and revise it and edit it. And in my first edit, I'll go back and make sure that I make feel feels. Once I've done that, I might decide to go back later and revise my claim just to make it a little bit sharper. Now that I have my claim, I'm ready to begin thinking about my thesis. How do I develop a thesis? It's important to note that even though I found one claim, there are usually three claims. Write your thesis after examining the connections between your three claims. So just based on that passage, here are three possible claims I could have come up with. Caliban is an anagram for cannibal. Caliban feels oppressed because Prospero colonized his island. And my third claim, Caliban is vengeful and spiteful because of his mistreatment. And these three claims together help me to narrow in and identify my thesis. In Shakespeare's early modern play, The Tempest, Caliban captures the voice of the indigenous people who are caught between assimilation and resistance. And once I have my thesis, I'm not ready yet. I need to make sure that it's strong. So I ask, so you need to ask yourself with your thesis, is my thesis a statement of fact? And when looking at this thesis, the answer is no, and that's important. Our thesis should not be a statement of fact. Does it assert something plausible? And in our case, the thesis that we have written today does. So yes, it is something plausible. Does the thesis include a reference to the title, the author, and the genre? And our thesis does. So now that we know that our thesis has met these three criteria, we are ready to begin writing our paper. We have a strong thesis to top our analytical essay pyramid, and we are ready to begin writing analytically.